Hey guys, welcome to integration week one review. Uh, in this session, we're just going to be doing some real quick integration questions along with some exponential integration as well. So these are the four questions we're going to be doing today. Um, so, you know, as usual, guys, just pause here, try these four questions and then uh, just follow my answers and see if you get the same things. OK, so I'm assuming you've paused and tried some of these, but let's get going. All right, so we got the first question. So in this case, before I even start to integrate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring the x squared to the numerator. So I'm going to write this as integration of 3 minus 5 x to the power of minus 2 dx. All right, and then when I integrate this now, uh, when I integrate 3, I'm going to get 3x minus 5x negative 2. I write everything as it is. But instead of adding, um, sorry, instead of subtracting one for, uh, that's what you do for differentiation. For integration, I add one to the power and I divide by the new power. Now notice how I'm actually writing this, guys. Um, I simply use this as, um, I mean, I know people can do negative two plus one straightforward, but the thing is when you do it kind of this way, it kind of just helps you see that you've actually added the new power and actually divided by the new power as well. I know it's an extra bit of line of work, but trust me, it saves a lot of grief in the end. So this could be written as 3x uh, minus 5x to the power of negative 1 divided by negative 1. Uh, and if you want, you can simplify this further. So you can write this as 3x plus 5 over x. Now, of course, the golden thing, don't forget, the plus c at the end of it when you finish everything. I mean, you should really have had plus c from here. But we are going to put plus c from all the way there. Okay, so that's the first question done. Question number two. Same thing, guys. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the x cubed to the denominator. Oh, sorry, the numerator. But just be careful. Don't bring the 2, just the x cubed. Because remember, 2 has a power of positive 1, and you can just leave it as it is. We don't need to worry about um, the 2. So we can rewrite this question as x. We can rewrite this question as x to the power of negative three over two minus pi dx. Now pi is a constant, guys. It's very much like in the first question how we you know we had three. So when we integrate three, we get three x. When you integrate pi, you're going to get pi x. So we have everything as it is. So x minus three over two. Now I'm integrating it, so I've got to add 1 to the power, plus 1, and I've got to multiply it by a negative 3 plus 1 in the denominator, minus pi over x, and of course, don't forget the plus c. So simplifying this, I'm going to get x to the power of negative 2 divided by negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 minus pi over x and plus c. Uh, I am going to simplify this, guys. So this could be rewritten as negative 1 over 4x squared minus pi over x and, of course, plus c. Um, in terms of simplifying, I think just doing it up to, I mean, the safe option is doing it up to here. But even up to here, you're still on the right track um, in terms of integration. All right, let's go to question three. So question three is with exponential um, questions, equations. So with exponential, we write that oh, before I start exponential, I'm going to actually bring that ugly, get rid of that third and bring the x to the numerator. So a couple of steps. So the first step is I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over x to the power of half dx. And then another step I'm going to write as e to the power of 3x minus x to the power of negative half dx. Okay, now integrating this, I'm going to get e to the power of 3x, write everything as it is, but divide by the differentiation of the power, which is in this case going to be 3 minus x to the power of negative half plus 1 and the whole thing is divided by the new power which is negative half 
plus 1. And of course, don't forget your plus C. I've seen so many people do this mistake with the exponential. They think it's e to the power of 3x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 1. Please be careful with that, guys. Um, it's a common mistake I've seen so many times um, over the last few years. So just remember that exponential um, integration, you're actually just leaving everything as it is, but just dividing it by the differentiation of the power, okay? So in terms of simplifying this further, guys, um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So you got e to the power of 3x over 3, and I'm going to get minus x to the power of half divided by half, uh, and plus c, of course. I can write this further one more step, e to the power of 3x over 3 uh, minus 2 root x plus c, and that's my final answer. And like, once again, guys, I think you are okay if you just do it up to that point there. You're still correct. All right, last question of the day. So with this one, a couple of things. I need to move things around. So I'm going to write this as, um, because e to the power of 2x, when I bring it to the numerator, it'll become e to the power of negative 2x. And on this side, I've got 3 over x to the power of 2 thirds dx. So I got to bring everything to the numerator before I integrate, especially the x's. So I'm going to write this as 3x to the power of negative 2 thirds dx. Okay, now I can start integrating it. So with exponential functions, nothing changes. Everything stays the same as it is, but we divide by the differentiation of the power. In this case, negative 2. And as for this function here, we've got plus 3x to the power of negative 2 over 3. And of course, we got to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, which is negative 2 thirds plus 1. And of course, don't forget your plus c. So simplifying this, I'm going to get negative 3 e to the power of negative 2x over 2. Now, plus 3x to the power of 1 third divided by 1 third. Of course, that's plus c. Don't forget that. So Simplifying this, I'm going to get negative 3, 2e, 2x, plus 9, because 3 divided by a third is 9, and x to the power of third is simply that. And of course, don't forget your plus c. Once again, guys, you can stop here, but if for those fanatics that want to learn how to simplify all the way to the end, that's what we're looking at. Cool. That's basically it for this session, guys. Thank you for watching. If there's any questions, pop it in the comments below, and I'll see you next week. That's it. Thank you.